Look. Try it. So I found the avatar feature. Before I bother going through the trouble, does the... Hang on. One of the booths will murder you. Which one would that be? The Soul Shard one. I'm not going anywhere near it. What happened? I randomly got teleported to it. I, I stepped on a pressure plate, it teleported me. I was on, on a lot of conveyor belts and I got thrown into the void. Blame B Bolt for it. It's his thing. Hey, well, now I can beat the conveyor belts.
Oh yeah, fun thing. If you hold space, well, if you hold jump while going across the um bouncy pads, they don't bounce you. Also, it doesn't work if you're crouching. Oh, nifty. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Sorry, but I don't joke around. Yeah. I was trying to reload my chunks, and I accidentally pressed Alt-F4 instead of Alt-F3. Really? Wow. <clears throat> uh, rest in peace your next five minutes. Oh, it stopped immediately. I just need to reload. I know, that's why I said rest in peace your next five minutes. Oh, when I do it on my other computer, it takes about five minutes for it to... To die. Ah. Is the Q and A wow. done? Yeah. It takes five minutes for it to terminate the process. Q and A is done. I just uh, answered the last question. Here I'm just trying to learn how to load a bloody um file. Oh, well, I load a a bitcode file into LLVM and then run it. I only heard half of that. What did you say? I'm trying to load a bitcode file into LLVM and run it using the C API. Oh. I've sort of got an idea for an engine uh, that could be useful. Well, sort of a rough idea. Um, basically, you'd have a 64-bit block ID, and a, a mod can allocate up to 48 bits. Um, but what is, and salva also, what is the salvation block? Uh, I think that one's been 3D printed. It's You can walk through it. I have no idea why it's called salvation. You were saying? But yeah. Uh... What was I saying? You said you a said... mod could allocate forty-eight bits. Yeah, forty-eight bits for the sixty-four bit ID, and also each block would have an optional pointer. And I do stress optional, unless you actually. Oh, it is. It would ultimately be up to your mod. Um, this will be also be shader based, and things will follow on different uh, shader passes. Although, like, for just, say, a plain block, you'd probably use, like, the 48-bit uh, thing, it's actually, it's going to be for, a, it'll be for um, namespaces, so to speak. So you'd, you'd just have your generic block namespace, and you just add your own blocks to it, and it should just work nicely. Well, I can tell you right now, you have far exceeded my knowledge base. I think I have five hours in Java, so... I'm not doing this shit in Java. I thought LLVM was Java. Oh, fuck no. Fuck no. LLVM is more, um... LLVM is C++. Uh, oh, I got a bit well, more than that. Well, it can do C... It can do pretty much anything. It is in, it is coded in C++. Well, yes. But yeah, basically, you pretty much run C, C++, Objective-C through LLVM. Um, typically, this is part of Clang. I take a bit where you do it with Clang, and you'd link it into a native binary. Here, we're not going to be making a native binary. We will be uh, 
writing bit code because I do because if I ever make it so that people can just write native binaries, then at some knob is going to all basically half of the models will only produce Windows binaries. And having said and then out of the other half, there'd probably be very few who produce Mac binaries. I, I don't have a Mac. I don't compile for Mac. But someone may. Uh, so, oh, but You're it's right. better if we have just one person compiling the base engine for Mac and then just using bitcode. I compile with Mac. It took it probably took Iceball about a year to have some a year before someone would act, was actually uh, before someone actually bothered to show up with a Mac and go, "Hey, we're going to compile this." Uh, it's had Linux support since its inception, probably about or probably Windows support about a month later. Well, I, I suppose a different engine entirely. Uh, that one, Iceball uses Lua, and it's designed for Asus space maps, not, not the sort of stuff that Minecraft has. So, Grease, are you ready for your presentation? No. <laughs> okay, uh, is there anything you'd like me to talk about? <laughs> uh, you could tell me what I should talk about. But my talk is... Uh, sorry, which one are you? I'm Pionel. Oh, right. Um, you... Uh, no, I'm gonna... You, want... you see, my plan was to talk about the new stuff in OpenOS, but I think really what my booth covers is all the same stuff, so probably I'll just adapt what I put in my booth for a presentation. You I got saw... a lot in the booth, Pionel. Yeah, I saw somebody going through there earlier, and, uh, I, you know... I spent a lot of time on what those demos show, and I think they're in there for about four seconds, which is fine. I don't, I don't think my pride was hurt, but I realized, yeah, I probably didn't need to put that much effort in the booth. I was trying to find you earlier to um, figure out the MIPS terminal. Oh, that's not me. That's Grease. Oh, you trying to wait MIPS? What are you trying to do with that? Uh, I was interested in MIPS because I did a little bit of work on the ARM architecture that I guess worked alongside with it. I saw a lot of work between the two of them, and I was interested in it at the time. Let me see if I can find the right version. Oh. I, uh, yeah, my, um, thing. Hmm. You like my, uh, screen That's save? That's memory, man. As you can probably tell, um, Open Computers is very much designed for running high-level languages and not uh, stuff to the metal. Uh, if you look into that closely enough, you'll see. Sorry, who was just talking? I'm a bit confused. I don't have positioning on. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not uh, on there in permission. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't uh, have permission. Uh, positional and enabled at the moment. In fact, I'm not even in game right now. Oh, so that was you talking and not Paynell talking? Nah. Uh, wait, Paynell, are you on positional? <laughs> no, sorry, am I confusing everybody? No, I'm on Mac and I'm on my Linux for BTM, so I was just trying to figure out who was talking and who wasn't. Where are you from, Grease? I can't tell the difference between the positional and non-positional anyway. I don't where's, think it works for me. Where's your accent from, Greece? Uh, New Zealand. It's it's like the accent that isn't quite Australian to me. I was like, that's not Australian. Yeah, but it's close. <laughs> that that's very that is actually true. Uh, Australian, it's sort of like the, you can tell sort of what the I sound. So it's like, yeah, you know, it's like in Australia they say more it's rather than it's. Yeah, that yeah that that is right. Yeah. Like it, it's re it's really cold out. It, it's really cold out there right now. That's crazy how different that is. Just that one little change. Oh, yeah. so Panel, I had another question for you. Yeah. This uh, this over here, the server rooms. What is going on in here? <laughs> well, and we also have Pacific Islanders and stuff, so that sort of influences the uh, accents as well. Yeah. Oh, Fox, you're a rogue miner. Okay. Yes. Um, our ideas for the server room were big and cool, and I think we... I, I wouldn't even say we're ready for BTM yet. We just kind of ran out of time. 
So are these in game or are they connected outside the networks? Oh, I didn't set up the networks. I don't know. I mean, we do have uh, there are there is software for open computers that can work with real networks. Um, uh, Magic worked on that. I don't know what that one's currently doing with real network, but uh, yeah, Magic implemented a real TCP stack for open computers. It runs in Plan Nine K. That's pretty unique. I was going to use the server racks to actually do like a big. Um, Mandelbrot set or something that was ambitious before I realized how long it would take to set up a booth. Oh, um, making a Mandelbrot set, that's, that's easy. I, I, I've done a right, I did a right march, uh, uh once during, uh, the last BTM, but unfortunately that, that program disappeared. That was when someone leaked bad app and was like, oh, fuck. And so, like, this is sort of like a few days before hey. it started, so it's just, I had Be to... There. I had to do what I do best, which was pull something slightly more impressive out of my ass. So, basically, when it came around, uh, the, we ended up using the color version. I love what you had the other day. No, it wasn't that the yeah. complexity of a Mandelbrot viewer is, is crazy. What I wanted to do was just kind of the idea of a server room, you know, distributed Mandelbrot solving, I thought would be cool. Not that the, it would be a cool view or anything, just the idea that there's a server room solving a Mandelbrot is what I wanted. I'm glad that the server stabilized a little bit so that I could actually enjoy what we got going on over here, apparently. Yeah, I, I was at work when... Yeah. I, I was at work when BTM started, and I was listening to your guys' streams about how much was crashing. Yeah, I couldn't connect. I kept on trying to connect, and I couldn't make it to the booth before it crashed again. Glad I finally made it. Well, I think I'm going to prep for my presentation, which is in, uh, like, 11 hours from now, so I probably should get ready for that. Um, you guys have a good night. All right, see you. Okay, now, do you have any um, competition entries yet? I think you just left. Yep, yeah, I was confused as to who left. I thought Grease left. Oh, um, yeah, I had to deal with something. Um, I'm back now. I'm sorry to say it this way, but you and him sound really similar on my end of the call, so I couldn't tell if it was you or him that had just left. But, so him, we're referring to who? Pay and L. Eh, he sounds a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit, but it's hard to differentiate because I've got a cheap headset on. Uh, I don't know. If you want to, I could speak over DFPW. Well, so, actually, no, that's, that, I, that requires me getting some weird shit set up. I'm not complaining. I thought you left instead of paying out, so I was an idiot talking to no one. Ah. Uh. Instead of just an idiot like normal. Right, right. <laughs> um, I have a question. With the uh, open computer screens, is it possible to actually fill the in screen when it's a uh, weird resolution? Because I've noticed there seem to be some resolution limits. Uh, the limit is uh, 160 by 50, but there is actually a part of the character set that lets you do uh, 2 by 4 blocks. As, I'm sorry, I'm um, 2 by 4 per um, character, so you can actually do 320 by 200. You just got a slightly limited color resolution. I see. I think once this thin's out of it, I could possibly um, show you um, how far I've managed to get with uh, video streaming. 
I actually bloody got it working. Well, I got it working with audio. Um, the audio is rather choppy. Oh, well, the audio is a little bit derpy, but it um, works. Greece, would you know if there were any uh, competition entries for the OC competition yet? Uh, no. Oh, I, don't, I have no idea. No, you wouldn't know? Alright. If you want a party code, go for it. No, I don't have a code. I was just wondering if someone else had. Well, I actually had some stuff prepared, but... Um... Never actually assembled it into a demo. Uh, I I didn't prep any proper demo either. I know there was a lot of chat about it on the OC IRC, but yeah, um, um, basically, I think what happened was that well, it basically boils down to OC lost most. Well, I see that I lost motivation with the Minecraft community. I think it was because he was trying to get uh, MCMP to work. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get MCMP into Forge, and he was just sick of being dicked around or something. I think that's what happened. Oh, hey, the um, mumbles thinned out enough that I can actually see uh, the, every single user on my screen. Yeah, it's thinned down pretty good. I can't believe yeah. you're still active. When I came back. I don't think this will die until the conference is over. I think uh, it'll die probably an hour or two after the conference is over. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how long Undescribed is planning on keeping the server up, so... What if it works, I guess? I mean, I know where it's hosted, I know how it's hosted. So it's not like it costs them anything extra to keep it up. So, I have a question. Where did the uh, flamingos come from? Uh, they're all <laughs> over the place. <laughs> so, um, there was an animation a while ago from someone called Build Dig Live. I think they were called Dig Build Live. D yes, that. Thank you. And they had a pink flamingo in it, and then it became a mod, and now it's a meme in BTM. Alrighty. There is no real rhyme or reason for it. I noticed flamingos everywhere, that's why I asked. Down by the server room I was talking about earlier? I mean, it's okay, Underneath they're, the best, the... they're the best block in the game, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, probably. There's just little easter eggs hidden everywhere, and that's why I asked. There's also this random floating block of TNT over here that I just discovered. Like, literally out in the middle of the void. One point nine point four. No bugs whatsoever. Right? Literally zero. Yes. There's some in the middle of the base floor. It's a big booth with wheels. Are you talking about the flamingos? No. Oh. It's not working? Um, I can give you food. Where are ya? There you are. Hi. I wonder how many of you are right, actually in the panel room. Oh, uh, let's just I'm pretty sure zero slide. of us are actually in the panel room. Well, I don't even know where the panel room is, so... Hey, I was correct. There are zero people in the panel room. Why? Because there's now one person in the panel room.
I could possibly show it off in the uh, show the streaming thing off in the uh, foyer because that's where the computer is. But that's um, problem with that is well, yeah, that's kind of like in front of everyone, and that's just gonna shit out lag. Oh, uh, oh, oh, what's this? Yeah, I'm not exactly yeah, 100 percent certain what they're showing on the screen. Uh, that, that's just the random thing I put on there just because. Okay. I think it's basically a notion of like x squared plus y squared and using that as a color. Uh, yeah. But for first things first, let's make sure that's the uh, tape drive is empty. I still miss uh, the this the is drive. fine meme being oh, on there. The, uh, that was drive. the best. Where is said panel okay. room? If you go out towards spawn, it's to your right. Oh, that was that big building? Yep. Duly noted. Thank you. Now I know to stay away because that's where all the lag will be tomorrow. It's actually the least laggy room in the... Oh, you're kidding. ...thing. Okay, because let's try this. All the laggy stuff is in the big area. Yeah, but the players aren't. The players aren't what's laggy, though. As much. Alright, um... Kissima, uh, fuck. It's an oversized, um, DFPWM file. For some reason, the, the files struggle to delete sometimes. Sounds like a feature. Is it uh, 80 by 25? Because I need it to be um, 160. Oh, it's 160. Awesome. Um, now I've got to get this to actually pipe. Let's hope I don't blow up the server. Damn it, the tape's too quiet. Oh yeah, that bug as well. What was the booth that got closed down on the first floor? There are two of them. RF tools and... I knew yeah, that was RF tools. Or no, those aren't on the first floor. Um, first floor. What did get closed down on the first floor? Oh, this. This is... Let's find out. Yeah, if you have a TPS close to 20, it usually copes all right. I actually don't know what this is. Uh, do you not know this video? <laughs> yeah, I don't think streaming's gonna work. Just because it's like, uh, the, yeah, the tech rate's too low. Whatever achievement 7 is, that's helpful. Thanks. Would that be the added achievements mod? I don't know. The first sign that's in here, it says, check your inventory to see what's changed. And let me guess, there would be an achievement in the inventory? I already have been through here, I just don't remember what it was.
Oh, it's Rarmer. Or you're gonna have to you're... catch me up. What in the world is that? R armor. Oh. Speakers are kind of beery right yes, here. Yes, that cadmium. Yeah, this Not... is gonna be my intro song, I think. Not a hundred percent certain how to pronounce that. Uh, you can't see the booth because it's closed. There's not much to see in there, anyway. I've been through it. Is there a specific reason it was closed? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Hey, Mick Jersey showed up. Just gonna wait a bit for him to so ever. The vaporism? Uh. I need to find where vaporism is. Yeah. Did I find it? I believe I did earlier. Uh, that's a great question. Oh, you don't need braces around the choir? Uh, it's one, there's a couple of cases where you can actually completely emit the parentheses. One is if it's a string, and the other is if it's a table, uh, if it's an immediate table. Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, I done goofed. I don't know where I am. Do any of you guys know how to use the circuit chamber? Uh... The what? The oil does, yeah. but he's not here. Did you place it? Below Let me go see if he's on the, the other one. Um, the robo surgeon. I'm in the booth now, but it doesn't really say how to use. You have to right-click the robo surgeon and then configure it, and then. Nah, you but. Oh shit, I actually remember what all the function calls are, somewhat. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think vaporism has one. Does it? I know it does. That doesn't mean anything, though. Never trust what you see in the documentation when it comes to this mod or this mod pack. Documentation is a lie. That's some idiot destroyed it. That's my only guess. Somebody destroyed what? The vaporism. Um. Achievement block? No. I can see if I can find it. Or make one. Because there is an actual achievement for it. Hmm. I don't know how to actually I make it. I notice you don't use in. I'm guessing that's just because in the uh, in-game editor, they just be a more annoying than they're worth. Yeah. Yeah, I normally use indents. I'm actually pretty good at lower. <laughs> I'm just here. Yeah. I'm confused. Oh, we went from C to Lua? Yeah, because uh, the thing I was working on in C, I was sort of just going to shelf into now. Oh. I'm just trying to follow the conversation.
So in case you're wondering what I've done here, I've... Hmm. Yep, I don't know how achievement blocks work. And I'm too lazy to find out. So I'm trying to, um, that's actually just there, the VX equals VX times that, um, constant. That's just to apply the correct aspect ratio. And yeah, I'm not the greatest at math. Now I'm just going to apply the, um... I'm actually just going to spit out the colour almost completely raw. That's interesting. Um, I can't interact with any blocks. Have you tried relogging? Well, I just, I did the cyber thing. I put it in the cyber arms, and now I can't interact with anything. Oh, yeah, I hit that bug, that bug, too. You gotta relog. The little reaper? What? What little reaper? Oh, these. <laughs> That's cute. Where are people getting all these delights from? Uh, you should have spawned with one. Nope. Uh, I think if you joined earlier, you won't spawn with one. Oh. Here, for, uh, who said that? Uh, Android. I'll get you one. My in-game name is not the same. Well, that's why I can't teleport to you. What's your name? F4. I'm going to sign on a sec. Can you give me a pair as well? Yeah. Thank you. Here, I'll do you one better. There's a dark plate. Uh, where are you? Mm, who? You. I'm signing in. I was signed out screwing around in a private world because it was far less laggy. All right, yeah, I am Fandroid, in the OC just booth. put that on and it'll work. I'm in the OC booth. That comes with the electro. Who are you? I'm Rouge Minner. Okay. Hello. Hello. There you go. Thank you. Just getting the basic version of this working. Well, that's interesting. Green's not sh shite. Green isn't showing up properly. Uh, right. Is this teapot in the lobby a uh, hologram? Does anyone know? 
Does anyone know what? If this tea in the or teapot in the lobby is a hologram, uh, it's definitely something. I'm uh, guessing it's, it's a hologram. Something. I don't know what else it would be. I don't know what other mod we have that would generate something like this. Especially one that's rotating and you can walk through. It's magic. Oh, 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 it's magic. Oh, please, no. I just noticed that the teapot is asymmetrical. And it's bothering me. <laughs> uh, does, does it have a bottom? Because if it does actually, if it does have a bottom, then clearly it's the modified version of the model. And not the uh, special one. No, it has a bottom. Does anyone know how to work the uh, 3D printers from OC? Huh, I still can't interact with anything. Same here. I don't think we're supposed to. Why has it got to be British, Alexis? You're not in Mumble. God damn and it. I can't right-click anything. Yeah, I can't either. I don't think we're supposed to be able to do that. Certain things you will be able to if the booth intends you to. Sapphire, Yalto is. Do. I am. Hi, I'm Would Yalto. that be something the OC booth was supposed to intend us to do? I'm Are you able to interact right. with the, um, uh, MIPS one? Because you're supposed to be able to interact with that. Yeah, I cannot interact with the MIPS, um, one. I was looking to interact with it. Oh, to God. Get some hands on with crash. No, it's just lagging hard. Server's not crashed. Yeah, positional audio in Mumble is strange. What version of Mumble are you running? Uh, I have my positional off. I'm running 1.2.16. Now for the first interesting image. Not quite Ray Marching yet, but yeah. Next up, add some Diver. I think that Unascribed is going to be rebooting the server soon. Apparently someone's putting Should out a mod agree. update. I'm uncertain. Don't quote me on that. Wait, random thing has item movement now? Whoever it was that asked if I could use the MIPS demonstration. No, I yeah. definitely cannot. Damn. Is there a way to get that whitelisted? Because that is supposed to be interactable. Maybe you can get it when Unascribed reboots the server. It has to be done by admin in-game, so you just need to talk to Unascribed or someone. All right, well, I will see you all later. I got to go. Have a good one. Later. Have fun. All right, I'm headed to bed. Night, everyone. See ya.
Okay, I have no idea. What, uh, I'll jump. I'll shove on um, positional and then give these guys a wind up, maybe. 